First off, Outlaws, I'd like to give Orion a shout-out, man. You should check out his channel. He gave me a shout-out, I think, a couple months ago. So I'm returning a shout-out for him. Um, Orion, he's a he's an upcoming, he's a big-time YouTuber. He, like, does music. He's really good at his playing on the guitar, man. He's awesome at that. And he does food reviews, guys. Welcome back to Deadly Outlaws 5 Star Reviews. Outlaws, welcome back to Deadly Outlaws Five Star Reviews. So today, Outlaws, I'm here collaborating with Critical Eats Japan. Okay, so JD and I, we're here at the this bank of vending machines. This is one I often come to, especially when I'm heading down to Minami Alps. Oh, you outlaws, you like those clips I showed of Critical Age Japan? Well, Paul is a longtime YouTuber. He's been doing YouTube, I don't know for how long, but he does reviews in like, he lives in Japan. And he does reviews in, like convenience stores. And he also does like um, ramen and stuff, all kinds of food places. And he even has giveaways where you can like win, you know, candy and drinks and stuff from Japan. I'd love to go to Japan one time. Japan's like my dream to one day fly to. Because Japan, I heard they're going to have next year Nintendo Land. Oh, I'd love to see Nintendo Land. <laughs> that would be awesome. So shout out to Paul from Critical Eats. Thanks for this collaboration today, man. And um, be sure to check out Paul's channel. I'll have a link in the description below. And I'll also, to his channel, and I'll also post his um, video he did to collab with me at the end of this video. All right, guys, so we just... Look at that. <laughs> I wonder what sandwich Paul selected. Also, they have milkshakes at his Domino's. I would really like to go to Japan sometime. They have lots of cool places, McDonald's and stuff. And you know, I also like anime. Also, look what I'm wearing today, the Kabuki Warriors. If anyone's a wrestling fan. All right, so right here we have this sandwich. It's on um, sourdough bread. Look at the inside right here. Here's the inside of the sourdough bread. You got sourdough bread right here. There's jalapenos, pineapples, <clears throat> chicken, and habanero sauce. Oh, can't wait to have this. And cheddar cheese on there. Oh, this looks interesting. A chicken habanero sandwich from Domino's. All right, Ellis, if this is everyone's first time checking out my video, consider smashing that subscribe button because I have great food content up on Mondays, Wednesdays, and every Friday, swing drink reviews. All right, let's, let's see Paul's sandwich. All right, let's give this a try. Wow. And those jalapenos, man. They're chewy. <laughs> the pineapples are canned, actually. But they are fresh from the can. They're not freshly cut off. And the um, chicken. It's dry. And it can't be perfect with Domino's or sandwiches. Oh well. I wonder how Paul's sandwich was. Um. Mm. Fresh sourdough bread. Chili, ha chili jalapenos. Canned pineapples. <laughs> They're sweet, of course. Probably came from the can, right? You get to your store. Dry chicken. Oh man, this is kind of a disappointment on this video. Mm. 
and a little bit of habanero sauce. Not a lot in there. Habanero sauce is on fire in my mouth, but that's okay. Big, massive point deductions. I mean, the texture of this sandwich is... It's like you're just going to a store and say, Here, let me get this deli sandwich. And I bought a deli sandwich for you. There you go. And time to eat it. So where would I give this on my rating? Sorry, Paul. My sandwich wasn't that good. Dry chicken. Canned pineapple. Not a lot of habanero sauce. Hopefully your sandwich is better. An Outlaw's rating. I'm going to give this... I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. Very disappointed in having dry chicken. I thought it'd be fresh or tender, but it's not, it's dry. The, um, I already told you we had chewy jalapenos, the um, cheese on here. Yeah, the cheese is melted nicely on here as well. Parmesan cheese, no. Yes, yeah, Parmesan and um, provolone cheese on here. Melted nicely. No, no, it's mozzarella cheese, sorry guys. Mozzarella cheese melted on here nicely. Um, but the chicken, like I said, dried chicken, canned pineapples. What can you go wrong, right? Well, you can go wrong with it. So, yeah, a 2.5 out of 5. Sorry, Domino's. Maybe another time. All right. So, Paul, I'd like to thank you for the collaboration. Hopefully, in the future, we can work again. And we'll keep trying to keep in contact, like talk to you. Like I said, I'm subscribed to your channel. I, I started subscribing to you when we started talking on um, social media, so... Hopefully, Paul, let me know in the comments below if you want to work with me and again in the future. And like I said, hopefully one day I can come to Japan because I'd love to see Japan. You know, Nintendo Land, anime there. We got Japanese animation there. Ah, it's over not. It's over nine thousand. Like Vegeta would say, <laughs> just being funny. And plus, these two wrestlers are from Japan. Um, Asuka and. Ka Kari C. And they're in the WWE, so yeah, guys. Thanks for the collaboration, Paul. And hope to work with you again in the future. Alright, guys. So I have some other videos. So you click on the video right here where I did a collaboration with um, Paul. Click on his video right here. Click on his link right here. Subscribe to Paul's channel, Critical East Japan. Click on subscribe button, Outlaws Generation. That's it for the review. You can't review it until you taste it. Next time, you can come hang out with me on Next Food Adventure, and I will show you more delicious food which you should try. Outlaws Generation out. Thank you all for watching. Take care, everybody.